Hey everybody, back at it again, the old final village garage, your firebird restoration station. Kind of like the sound of that, sounds pretty cool, rolls off your tongue pretty easy, and pretty simple to remember. Nonetheless, last time around we got the cooling fan working on it, alternator's making some juice, so should keep the charging system working great. And if you can see outside behind him, because you absolutely can, because it's blue skies and sunshine today, Indiana. Weather, it just, if you live here, you understand what I'm going to say. Every five minutes, just wait, it changes. So, all our snow and snow is gone. No more ice out there. A couple little spots here and there. So, I'm thinking, I might see if I get this thing out of the garage. But first off, I need to dig a seat out of behind curtain number one there. There's actually another bay over there where I keep the Transmarado. And the seat for this is parked in front of us. So, I'm going to back that car out, get the seat up, get it installed, and see if I'm going for a drive. There we go. First drive out of the garage under its own power. If I can keep the camera on the dash, there's no windshield to stick the little camera out too so we're going to kind of balance it on the dash here and when i get out of the garage my garage is a bit of a slope so we got the good old trusty brick back out and throw in the tire so it doesn't take off down the driveway so here goes nothing I got it out. Get the old brick here under the tire. Like I said, the driveway's got a bit of an incline, but uh, there you have it. It's outside in the daylight again, first time in forever under its own power. I had to push it out of the garage, which was here, the uh, third bay where it was residing when I bought the house, and put it in the old Vinyl Village garage workshop side, which is a bit of a mess in this winter. So we'll do a little clean up here come spring now, some spring cleaning, but that's where this beast was residing. But look, it's out here now. I'm gonna get it started up, let it run, make sure my cooling fan cycles, and then work on digging a seat out of there in front of that car so I can put it in here. Because trying to hit that clutch pedal on the brake, it wasn't working so good for me. So I'm thinking I need to put a seat in this before I go for a drive. So next thing, let this thing run, dig that thing out. I suppose the real question is this thing's been sitting for a couple months here over the winter. I haven't started it. One of the cool things about doing, say, an LS swap car, love them or hate them, I should be able to just reach inside here. Fire this thing up. And if you haven't seen the Trans Auto, shame on you for not watching the previous episodes. This is the first car that I built here in the Vinyl Village garage. And not the first car I ever built, but the first one completed here from beginning to end. And it was a, quite a uh, rusty mess. If you get a chance, check out the link up there and check this car out. So it's a uh, pretty good resume, but I need to get the seats out. That's what I'm after yeah, next. Simple as that, get an LS car started. Either you love them or you hate them, but uh, I actually love them. was not an LS fan prior to this car, but definitely am now. This bay actually was a, when I bought this house, a 1973 Mach 1 Mustang in it. It's long since gone, but now is where I keep all my parts. I have Pontiac shelves. So I've got yeah way too much stuff up on the shelves here but what i'm after one of those two little gems right there i need to put a little seat in that thing so i can hit the clutch pedal and work the stop pedal a whole lot more gooder yeah, i got the seat bolted in it's been over 20 years since i've had my butt in that seat operating that steering wheel but never moved one of those new hickeys in this car before because i only had two pedals my first row so really looking forward to this but kind of waiting for that uh, cooling fan to cycle on it's getting warm but not quite there yet and while we're waiting, I'll go ahead and play some music for you. Because outside here in the real world, it actually sounds even a little bit better. Probably some of the best music you'll hear all day. Well, I missed it actually turning on. I shut the engine off so you can get the thing running. So it's definitely up to temperature. Fan switch cycle. We'll start it back up and let her cool down. Make sure that thing turns off. We're gonna go for a drive. Anyway, well, the uh, cooling fan passed this test. The only hesitation I have now is just, do I want to drive this thing or not? It's actually a little intimidating. I haven't drove this car in quite some time, but uh, I think we gotta just go for it. Let's go for a ride. Well, here goes nothing. Mm -hmm. 
Paint it back in one piece. Now, the thing about driving the old windshield is it messes up your hair. So, not the end of the world. But I will tell you what, uh, drove a car with absolutely nothing in it besides an empty shell and about uh, approximately maybe 600 horsepower under your foot. It's a bit much. You need to put it in second gear. I did it, just stood on it, but only got core throttle, and it's just about coming around on you. So, this ought to be absolutely a wonderful toy to drive. So, but anyway, I'm going to drag you along with that journey. It's a whole heck of a lot of fun. Let's see if there's anything out uh, of the ordinary under what should have been the hood. First off, brick engage so we don't roll down the driveway. Something kind of interesting. I noticed when I was driving it, the uh, let's say the line went totally whack. I put the control arms on, but you can see that thing is go cambered out about uh, positive three degrees and towed in about a mile and a half. So thing drove like absolute trash. This side isn't much better. The upper control arms, well, the nuts are snug. Well, let's just say they're uh, not really doing a whole lot of good. The control arms gonna fall this way when operating. When I stood on the front end, lifted up, and they went clunk, clunk, clunk. So. Totally whacked up the alignment, but uh, nothing leaking. Sounds pretty good. I don't hear anything making weird noises and uh, I don't smell anything funny either. So the inaugural voyage, I would say, was a success. It's so warm out that I'm wearing just my t-shirt now. Of course, sunshine, blue skies definitely helps. I imagine just a week ago, it was barely 15 degrees, not warm, but now it's about, to, I'm gonna guess 50, 55 degrees. So it feels like a heat wave. So anyway, I'm gonna do some more tinkering on this thing here, but I wanna take you for a joy ride. And I'm still kind of all kind of shaky from the little adrenaline rush. I've never had a car with that much horsepower under my foot. And I've built a lot of toys, played with a lot of cars, but never built anything quite this extreme. So it's absolutely way more than we ever needed, but why not? It's one of my favorite questions I like to ask myself. It's one of those things that uh, approach a challenge, put, present a challenge, and well, I wouldn't try to overcome it. Well, I wanted to build the biggest, silliest, craziest engine I possibly could with a minimal budget, if that's even possible, building a Pontiac engine. You know, the guys know those things aren't cheap to build, but this one ought to be absolutely ridiculous to drive when done. Nonetheless, had a lot of fun. Thanks for following me on the journey. Please subscribe. I've got a whole lot more putting this car together, and I got the great pumpkin, the spring chicken. It's springtime, so I'm going to do some spring cleaning in the garage, get this place cleaned up because it is an absolute wreck. Then we're going to start working on the spring chicken. You know what that is? Well, it's the great pumpkin from a previous episode. Check it out. Look in the old history of the videos that we've posted here. And, of course, I've got some other ideas happening. We're basically to the 1,000 subscribe mark, and uh, I've got some additions to the channel. So stay tuned. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and we'll see you next time.